We are all extremely proud as we behold this breathtaking architectural achievement and the tasteful finishing of a state of art and we thank God for enabling its completion because but for his provision and, both, and his mercies this would have been impossible. Indeed, unless the Lord builds the house, the labor in vain he builds it. But we are spiritual people, so we know that there is more here today. We know that this is not just about dedicating a majestic church auditorium. It is first about honoring God. The building of a great edifice as a place of worship is an important statement to God that we will give our best to Him as a testimony of our worship. Second, every church that is built is an important vehicle for the spread of the gospel. Evangelism is crucial, but there must be a place to disciple the saints, to disciple those who are saved, which is why many agree that church planting is the most effective form of evangelism. Third, every church is a lighthouse, a place that draws in men and women to be instructed in the truth that is able to deliver from fear, from oppression and eternal damnation. A place of supper for thousands, a place of joy and praise, a place of encouragement, which is why the psalmist said, and exalted, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So we must continue to build churches, to build these places of worship, knowing that everywhere we plant a church, we establish the light and power of the gospel, and that this gospel of the love of Jesus Christ for all men and women is the answer to the darkness, the pain and misery of our world. So I rejoice with you today, not merely because you have built a church, but because of the benefits that must now accrue to you for building this church. By honoring God, the result is that God will honor you. From the time of David, David did not build a church. He thought about building a church, and the Lord blessed his generations forever. You have not only thought of building a church, you have built a church. So that the wonders and the miracles of God will attend to you and your families forever in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. By contributing to the propagation of the gospel, you will qualify for eternal rewards. But the dedication of the physical building called the church must only remind us that the real work of building the church is that of building up men and women in the knowledge and nurture of the Lord. It is equipping the saints to lead victorious lives here on earth and to show others the way, the truth, and the life. That task is more urgent now than ever before. The forces of evil, of hate, are more vehement than ever. The battle between light and darkness is more intense than ever. But the church will prevail. Amen. Indeed, as the Lord himself assures us, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Let me on behalf then again of our government congratulate the Primate of all Nigeria and Archbishop of the Abuja Diocese, Archbishop Metropolitan, Today, and all members of the clergy who are present here, of the Anglican Communion, and all members of this great church. And I pray, in the words of Solomon, as he dedicated the great temple in 2 Chronicles 6, verse 40. Now, my God, I pray, let your eyes be open, let your ears be attentive to all of the prayers that are said in this place. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you.